In this video, I'm teaching you how to move your information from your old phone to the new phone using three ways on the Samsung Smart Switch app. Here we go. On the old phone, what you have to do is you have to download the Samsung Smart Switch app. So it looks like this icon right here. And when you go to the Samsung Smart Switch app, you want to be on this screen. On the new phone, you have to do the same exact thing. So if you go to Samsung folder here, Samsung Smart Switch, and if you don't have this app, make sure to download it on the Play Store. You go to Samsung Smart Switch here, you go to continue, you want to make sure that you are allowing all of these permissions, allow, and you are on this screen as well, that says send data and receive data. Now, the first way that we're going to do this is we're going to do this via wireless transfer. On the old phone, you want to hit send data. On the new phone, you want to hit receive data. And you want to do wireless. On the new phone here, you want to click on Galaxy. And then it's going to go to wireless. It's going to pair up to the old phone. It sends out a frequency and you want to hit allow. And then it's going to give a percentage on making sure that it searches for everything on the old phone to transfer to the new phone. And when you are ready to transfer, you can go to everything here and then hit next. Or if you want to hit custom, you can customize what you want to transfer over. But I love to transfer everything, so I'm going to hit everything and then hit next. It will give you a percentage and a time estimate on how many minutes is left in order to transfer your information from the old phone to the new phone. And then if you have a lot of information but you want to keep the screen on, there is a screen on option here that dims the screen just a little bit just to make sure that you are saving battery life throughout the transfer. And then if you'd like to have the screen turned back on and lit, you can just hit that button again until the transfer is all done. The wireless transfer is all done. You'll see that on the old phone and then on the new phone it says done transferring your data. And you want to hit done, go to home screen, and it's going to bring you back to your main page. Now for option number two, there is a way that you can transfer your data from the old phone to the new one via using a cord. Now the cord that you want to use is the USB type C on both ends here. I have a USB type C phone and a USB type C um, new phone on the Z Flip. So if you want to hit send data, receive data, and what you want to do is you want to enter this cable and then plug the other end to the new phone here. So it will be old to new, and this one you want to receive data, and then you want to hit always open smart switch when Lucky Z Flip 4 is connected. It's going to open Samsung smart switch, it's going to read the information and the data, and you want to hit everything. Hit next, then now it's going to transfer your information, it's going to give you the same exact prompts when you are transferring wirelessly as well. Now this is cord, it may be a bit faster because it is USB Type-C to USB Type-C and it's going to give you that percentage and timestamp. Now that the transfer is done, it will tell you to unplug your USB cable, which you can do. And then all you have to do is just hit done, go to home screen, and that's it. Now the third way on how to transfer your information using Samsung Smart Switch is by using a flash drive. I have a flash drive here and I also have a USB-C to USB-A adapter as well. And what I want to do is I want to transfer all my information to this flash drive here. And you want to plug this in just so. 
and then use this and plug it into the old phone. As you can see, I have the USB dongle already connected to the old phone. And then I want to go to the, where this SD card symbol is at up top right here. And then what I want to do is I want to back up USB storage. It's going to back up now everything or custom, but if you hit everything, hit next. Data backed up and encrypted using your Samsung account. Hit OK. You can skip this, or if you want to really encrypt it to make sure that your information is protected, you can sign into your Samsung account. But for this video, I'm going to hit skip. It's going to do the same exact thing where it was on wireless and also on wired. It's going to read all the information and then put it into the flash drive itself. It will tell you now that everything is all done backing up. So your apps, home screen, audio settings. I didn't have much stuff on my old phone, but when you hit next, it's going to bring you to all set, hit done. And what you want to do is you want to disconnect the flash drive USB adapter on the phone. Don't just pull it out. You want to make sure that the USB storage is unmounted or else you have the potential to damage your flash drive. So hit unmount. It's going to say unmounted. Now you want to remove it off the old phone and then transfer it over to the new phone. Plug this into the new phone now. Now that it's plugged in, you also can see a USB symbol up top here. But you do the exact same thing as you did on the old phone. You want to go to the SD card symbol up here. And then you want to hit restore from USB storage. It will say the latest timestamp right here. And you want to click on the latest timestamp when it was backed up so you can restore it. And then you want to restore everything and hit next. Now the cool thing about using a flash drive for a backup on your phone is that it is saved to your flash drive. All the information, your contacts, pictures, your, your backup, everything you had on your old phone is saved to your flash drive. So it's saved there forever. The coolest thing about that is that if you lose everything, that's okay. You have it saved and you have it backed up. If you had did the wire transfer, if you did the wireless transfer, now all that stuff is just directly copying and pasting to the new phone. And so if you are you know, transferring information and you drop your phone, lose your phone, well, your backup is not there anymore. So this is actually a really good way to make sure that you are saving your information. It looks like the transfer is done. Just go to the home screen and you have your stuff and information back. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you really like this video, make sure to give that a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down to the channel below to make sure that you are not missing out on any new videos here on this channel. But until next time, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.